let's spell some more words. Okay, we're going to talk about the word there, like over there. There, we have a bunch of words that sound alike, and it gets very confusing, even for older kids and adults. So we're going to talk about the word there. But in order to talk about there, I want to talk about here. Please come here. What are the sounds you hear in here? Here. And then what do I do to make the E say E? Because if I leave it like this, it would say her. So here. Ear. And then I need an E to make the E say ear. E. This is the word here. And here is a place. Well, there is a place too. And it's related to here. Let's talk about the sounds. Th. Th to say th. There. Now, the next sound is an A. You ready for this? It's tricky. We're going to use the E to say A in there. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen. Here we go. There, and in this word, this is a tricky word, the E is making this E say A. Okay, there. That's pretty tricky, right? And look, did you see the word here is, is in the word there? Because here and there are related. And as we talk about here and there, I might ask the question, where? Where? What did we find out about question words? Question words that start with a woo? It's really a W-H. Woo. To say woo. Here, there. Where? What's the next sound? Where? The next sound is an A. And guess what? This is another word. We're going to use the E to say A. Where? Do you hear the R? And then I have the E at the end. And this E is saying, hey, say A. It's a trick. The E is making the E say A. And do you see, here, do you see the word here? Inside the word where, here, there, and where, they're related. They're all places, and they all have the H-E-R-E -E in them. Okay, that's the there, and where, and it, rela it uh, relates to the here. We'll go over the other there a little later. Let's look at another word. Let's look at the word yellow. Say the word with me. Yellow. Do you hear two syllables? Yellow. The first syllable is yell. The first sound, y. Yep, it's the y. Y. E. Yeah. Very flat line up and around. Yell. My next syllable. Yell low. I have another l, and then I have the o sound. In this word, I use the o w to say o. Yell low, and the o w says o often at the end of a word, just like we are here. Okay. Let's go down. The word is find. I will find my glasses. One syllable. Find first sound, f next sound, f fi. We we'll use the I to say I. Find. Am I done with the word? Find. Do you hear that one more sound there? Find. There we go. And the I is saying I in this word. There's a rule that I and O may say the long sounds, may say their names, if they're followed by two consonants. And you see we have the ND. I call those the kind old words. 
and it's a find. The I is saying I. The next word is funny. Before we write funny, we're going to think about if something is funny, it might be fun. So let's think about the word fun. Fun is one syllable. F a n fun. Now I'm going to add a suffix onto it. And in order to do that, I have to double my my last consonant, the N. So we have a rule if we have a one syllable word with one vowel and one consonant, we double the consonant when we add a vowel suffix. So the Y is a vowel here. I have to double the N. I have to put two of them there. So we have fun knee. And what is the Y saying here in this word? This is the suffix e, and the y is saying e. There's a rule. Y says e at the end of multi-syllable words most of the time. Okay, the word is green. The color green. What are the sounds you hear? Let's say it. G. G. E, gre, and I'm going to use two E's to say E. Green. Okay, and I have to use the two E's to say E in this word. Green. Okay. How about just another word or two? The word is how. Say it with me. How. <sighs> Ow. And we're going to use the O-W to say ow. Okay. And this is a little tricky because in this word up here, the O-W says O, oh, like yellow. But the O-W can also say ow, like how. The O-W has two sounds, and you have to be familiar with both of them. Okay, that's enough for this one.